site we're at here, this is actually the south side, this is the access point for us to construct the tunnel. It's where everything goes in and everything comes out. All the people go in, all the people come out. The type of tunnel that we're building here is, is not particularly unique, but the scale of it is immense. One of the sites within the new M5 tunnel is bigger than the Lane Cove tunnel. And so we have four sites, and one of ours was bigger than the whole Lane Cove project. So that puts it into perspective. So the road header, it's a 135 tonne machine, looks like a massive bulldozer, but out on the front, it's got a boom and a head with, uh, looks like a pineapple with picks on it. And that rotates around, spins around, and you move that boom around and you can cut whatever shape you want with it. And so the rock falls out of that at maybe 30 cubic meters an hour. And we scoop it up on the bottom with some gathering arms up through a chain conveyor. And that goes out onto another conveyor in the back of the truck. Then after that, that's when the rock boulder comes in. The rock boulder reinforces the ground. Then the shock crater comes in, seals the ground with spray on concrete. And then we repeat until eventually we have the tunnel complete. When we finish excavating around, we lift up all the rock with this gantry crane, goes across, gets dumped into a spore barn here, and then as trucks come around, we load up the trucks and uh, get rid of all that spoil. All the spoil goes to a variety of different tips where it gets reused. The spoil that we generate, it's really good quality Sydney sandstone and makes great foundations for many different things. Per day we move about 2,000 tonnes out of the site.